Hi everyone, it's Simone. Over the course of the past month, I have acquired several new things and I thought I would just um, share them with you after I have used them for a while. Some I have used for uh, several weeks, some I have used for a couple of days um, because I am trying to, even though I'm spending quite the money, I'm trying to be more mindful with my purchases and I can actually really feel that. And that's why I would like to share what I got. The first thing um, is probably the oldest thing. I've already shared it on Instagram. I have recently um, pulled the trigger and purchased two of my, well, not maybe, maybe not holy grail fountain pens, but next level fountain pens. Um, I purchased them both from Pensachi in Japan um, and um, they had a promo where you, I think, received a 15% off um, if you purchased two fountain pens. And so instead of just getting one and paying the shipping, I decided, mm, okay, let's, let's get both. Um, and those were the um, Pilot Vanishing Point or Capless outside of the US in this um, yellow color with um, silver trimming. And then this Custom 74 um, in this, I don't even know what the color name is. It's, it's a dark wine red, maybe it's garnet. Not 100% sure. This color is definitely not um, one of the colors that I would say is my preference so um however i was super drawn to this color and so i just went with it and i really love both um both have a 14k gold nib both are in um m i have learned that i do like my nibs to be more on the medium size medium fine not the towards Broad is not my my style, but medium fine. And I have um, inked both with, <laughs> wow, there's so much cat hair and uh, fuzzy stuff on the floor here. Um, I'm filming in the only light spot in my house, which is on the living room carpet, um, which is not very um, convenient to sit on. But uh, I'm going to show them to you how they write and what they look like. Um, more. I have changed up my uh, fountain pen notebook. I will show that to you in a different video. I have decided to not film a huge uh, monthly update because I just don't have the headspace for that, um, but rather divide it up into several segments. So this is the first segment, which is the new acquired items. This is what the capless looks like. It looks, it's a clicker fountain pen. It doesn't have a cap that you take off. It just, you click and then the nib comes out. And both of those are pilot um, pens. Both of those are M nibs, but when I'm going to write with it, you will see that they're pretty different. Um, I have huge hands, if you can see, and I'm sorry about the band-aid, but I have such um, dry hands currently that this is opening up and I needed to add some uh, ointment to it so it can heal. Um, I have huge hands. Um, let me show you. This is a personal size travelers notebook, and when I put my hand down, it actually covers the full spread. So this is a regular vanishing point. I know that they also have it as a decimo, which is not as thick as the vanishing point. Uh, however, since I know that my hands are big and large um, and I tested a decimo, I knew that I would probably like the vanishing point more so that that's what I got. I do have, when I start writing with it, I do have some adjustment issues or it I need to wiggle it around until it feels comfortable in my hand, but it's not, when I'm writing with it, it is not uncomfortable. I, you will, as you can see, the, the clip of the pen aligns with the nib 
top of the nib and so this is how you would hold it so that the the clip is right in between between your two uh, your thumb and your your um pointer finger um the nibs that's what i was where, where i was getting at are pretty different um even though they're both m nibs this is a lot more bouncy and it uh, it is really nice so let me just show you what it writes with okay wow i haven't used it in a while so pilot that's an amazing way of showing you a, a beautiful fountain pen pilot vanishing point or capless it has a 14k nib and is in m and the ink that it is inside is linen toolbar oyster i when i write with this i feel like this looks almost like um Hmm. How maybe it's because of the angle that I write with, but it looks like um, a stub nib, a very very thin stub nib. I don't know if if that's music nibs or look like that. I I have no clue about what the other nib sizes nib specifications are besides fine, medium, broad, and then stub nibs. There's so many other nibs um, that you can get. So I I don't know if this looks more like it, but. But I think um, it is amazing. So the ink works really well. It flows nicely. Um, I'm really happy with the ink and pen combination. I, I purchased this or in, in the hopes that this would be a staple pen that I could use in my planner. I'm not currently using it in there though. Um, but I want this to be a very neutral color so that I can use it everywhere when I'm taking notes. And then I purchased, I got this one, I showed it to you before. This is the Custom 74, has this gold trimming. Um, I am definitely someone who likes their pens looking more traditional. I'm not a fan of this ball at the end of the clip but I can live with it I'm not purchasing this because I love love and I'm, I'm like totally enamored with this design I'm I wanted to know and see what the writing experience with this is and as you can see here my hands are so big that this is like it couldn't be any shorter without being capped uh, because it would almost uh, feel weird uh, I do not generally cap my pens. It looks different when it is capped uh, when, when writing. However, um, with this one, the the cap is not that heavy that it gets too back heavy. So I could post my pens. That's what it's called. So this is the Custom 74, also Pilot. It's also a 14K nib, also M. And the ink that is in this one is Sailor Manio Ume. And just by looking at this through the camera, um, you can clearly see that even though those are both M nibs, um, it might have to do with the ink flow. I have heard that Sailor Manu Ume is a very wet ink. Um, maybe, I haven't done a lot of research about the Custom 74. I know that it's a, supposed to be a smooth rider, which I can definitely uh, attest to. But I'm not sure if it's also a wet rider. So pairing those two with each other, you can see the broad and wet flow. I have not tried this ink with other this pen with other inks so I I'm not sure if if the if it will perform differently if I put if I had put a different ink in there um, it definitely feels very bold 
but uh, in the beginning when I got it at first I was a bit disappointed because I feel that you have to write larger in order to make this legible like if I wrote tiny the lines would wouldn't be legible you know what I mean see it like it, it becomes this big huge blob but since my handwriting is pretty big I it's not a big issue and I'm I'm really curious um, to see how other inks will perform in this pen. I do love the pen ink combination so I, I think there is no better ink than this to put in here if you wanted to match the color. Um, I am really in love with this ink and so maybe I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't have a huge issue with the line width. It's like the boldest that I would want it to be but it's not it's not bad and I have gotten uh, accustomed to it so this is the two purchases that I'm super happy with I have used them for almost a month now I can say that I I do not regret purchasing either of them <laughs> which is really cool because I have had so many buyer's remorse and regrets that I purchased things um, and that's why I'm filming this video because I everything that I'm going to show you today I do not feel buyer's remorse about and so maybe it's for me it, it was definitely time to reflect and think about the things that I really want instead of what other people have that I want it okay this is the fountain pens Let's go and move to a different thing that I purchased on a whim when I saw it uh, on her, her site. And I'm going to talk about this in just a second. Um, but I purchased, and I just received them this Sunday, I purchased hand-carved stamps from Petra. Um, and her Instagram handle is Mnekix, if I'm not mistaken. I will link her in the description box below. Um, let me put this aside. This is what they look like. This spoke to me. I just started hiking again, um, going outside. Fall has really inspired me to go back outside. I... I don't know what it is, but I'm so enamored with the mountains and the forest and hiking um, and being outside that this stamp set spoke to me and I couldn't be happier with it. It feels like uh, manifesting my love. Um, I have... I, I have really big goals for the <clears throat> next 10 years. Hiking, moving, all that stuff. And this <clears throat> really depicts all of those things. So here, I, I just wanted to show you what it looks, what these look like stamped. Um, they stamp beautifully uh, what you see on the top. And this is what they look like on the back is what you get when you stamp it. I stamped those with the Shachihata inks. Um, here is the clouds. Here is the mountains, and then here is the forest trees, whatever you want to call them. And I am really in love with what they look like and the meaning that they have behind it. It was worth spending every penny on them. So yes, these. Um, she does have um, open spots. And she sells through Instagram. She shows all the available stamps in her stories. Um, if you're, if you have been hesitant, um, it works really well. She sends it from Croatia. It came here in about, hmm, I can't even tell you, maybe three weeks, maybe even less. Um, and no problem to be delivered at all. Works really well. Love them. And I can't wait to use them more often. So that's the stamps. Then I subscribed 
I have been eyeing this subscription for like the last two or three years. Ever since she started, I was like, do I want it? Do I not want it? I was still getting the Cuckoo Daisy kits and I knew I couldn't, couldn't do more than that. Um, oh, I totally forgot to get this out as well. Um, I couldn't do more than those. And, but she has come out with a mini kit, which I have to tell you is absolutely beautiful. And this theme just spoke to me. And so I decided to hop on. Um, one of my friends, local friends has, is already subscribing to her kits. And so she just added it on so she could get, or we could get the subscriber washi tapes. If you subscribe to multiple kits, you get more washi tapes, you get more free things. And so she received it. She sent on my part and that is, is this one. And I have decided to go for it and use it and try using it all up because what is, the sense of getting stickers and sticker kits when you don't use them. Um, this probably will be the hardest part to use because I'm not generally someone who uses boxes to de decorate my, my, my journal uh, or my planner. Um, I'm also not someone who uses lots of stickers in their planner anymore, but I really wanted this and I want to make it work. Here's the washi tape. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so let me let me check if I, that's not the right notebook. Uh, let me see if I have something where I can actually. I used it down here. I used some of it here. Um, here is the sticker that was on the the packaging. I haven't used any of the stickers in here. However when I decorated for this week in my field notes, I decided to use it. And I'm also not uh, slaving myself into using the stickers as they are printed. So this sticker is actually this same sticker. I just cut off this because that's not how I use stickers. I don't track things like that. So in order not to waste it, I just cut it off and made it work. So I combined these two and it works. Here is one of those um, through the week. Here is one of those stickers right here. And then I added some of my meatball washi. And then on the weekly page, I added this um, washi sticker. I'm not sure which sticker, which planner this is supposed to fit. I never have trouble making use of kits that are not for the intended planner so not really a problem i let's see how i'm going to use this up i will definitely share in my maybe next month how how far i have gotten this is a bi-monthly kit so i basically have two months to use it all up let's see how that works out and then the last, oh, the two last things are actually purchases from Amazon. I really wanted a leather cover for my creative, uh, not so daily journals. That's what I call this. And um, I'm actually really eyeing the Sojourner notebooks. So this is kind of like um, absolutely not Sojourner, absolutely a lot less cheaper, but I wasn't... I have struggled with getting leather notebooks in the past and I have had so much buyer's remorse when purchasing leather notebooks um, that I didn't want to commit to more than a hundred dollars worth of a traveler's notebook when I hadn't tried the weight and the size of the traveler's notebook before. So this is actually a September leather uh, traveler's notebook and let me check the... it looks more black than it actually it is. It is a very dark chocolate brown. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. It is from Amazon and you can, I will link affiliate links in the description box below. Um, this was $29. It has a um, reinforced spine. That was the only thing that I was hesitant about because I'm not a, a reinforced spine fan. 
but it does work in this instant. It is not as heavy as I had expected it to be, so that's a definite plus. And I know that Sojourner Leathers, I'm sorry for the shaking. This is my cat coming, wanting to have snuggles or stuff. Move, move, move. Um, wow, I just, the craftsmanship of this notebook is stunning. Looks impeccable. The color is amazing. It has a beautiful pull-up. If you can see this right here, it's just amazing. I can't wait to look to see what it looks like when it's when it has more wear. Um, it comes with pockets right here for elastics, and then so I have my creative journal that I made junk creative junk journal that I already made to use when this is done. This is unfortunately won't fit because it's a horizontal format for an A5 size, but I have already passed the middle right here. So I'm I'm on the down down slope, so I'm hoping to be able to use this pretty soon. I have an empty sticker sheet here. I have ephemera that I would like to use in, in here. And then I have some of the um, papers that I use as blotting paper. This is actually just mixed media paper and it totally works. Um, and here's my writing journal. I'm almost done. So that also works really well. And then I, I just tuck it back here because I bound this notebook myself um, in September. And I'm not sure how um, how well it would perform on a string, if it would fall apart, if I would damage the spine even more. So I decided not to do this and just go on this, be on the safe side and tuck it in the back. As you can see, it is probably pretty, it's colored and it definitely colors off. So you need to be careful if you don't want any color marks or anything. Let me check the back of the notebook, what it looks like. It, does it get any color markings? No, it doesn't. But this pocket and the pen sleeve definitely um, come off here and leave their marks. So if you don't want this, you would probably need to be uh, careful or have them in these um, dashboards or something like that. There's actually even a pen loop right here and I tried several pens, which now I don't have any. Let me check this Sarasa. That one works really easily right here. I tried the multi pen from Hobonichi, which works as well. And then let me check, I tried a Twisby earlier yesterday and that doesn't work as well because it only goes down to here and then um, it would stick out on the top so you probably would need a different fountain pen let me check what other fountain pens let me see what this would look like i do have some so why not show them to you this one would work and it's actually large enough so that it sits it doesn't stick out it sits right before the edge. You wouldn't be able to use tabs, but that's that's what it looks like. I'm so excited and I'm actually not sure that I, I'm gonna get, get another cover anytime soon because this, this totally exceeds all of my expectations that I had for it. Um, so definitely keeping this for a while. Um, so maybe for my planner when I I, I purchased a different size planner this year and I don't have any cover. So maybe that's when I will get a Sojourner cover. Alrighty, so here is that notebook. Links will be in the description box below. And then let me talk about this. I saw, I think it was Florence from Life of, Live Life. What the heck? I don't remember her Instagram name. I'm blanking. I will put it in the description box below. That is, <laughs> um, wow. She uses a sticky bow for like as a journaling kit ish that you can take with you when you meet up. And I was like, mm, 
and then I looked at the price. I, I wasn't sure I wanted it because I didn't need any of the rings that were. I don't want this to be my sticker storage, but I would love to have something that I can carry you with me with all of the journaling supplies that I need for all of the daily journals, all the things that I want to use. And I haven't been using all of my things because they are spread all over. So this I just went on Amazon, where else, and checked for uh, small carrying pouches. And the most of them, most of them that came up were cable organizers, which I thought would be really cool. And so this one was $15. And I thought, well, I can try and see what it looks like, how it feels like, if it would work for me. And so I got this. It comes with two zippers, two compartments, basically. Um, there is uh, dividers that you can move around. I took them all out because I realized I didn't need them. I have all of my sticker sheets and letters that I want to send out that are prepared. Here's my recent, most recent extravagant hope. There's a pocket that I want to incorporate somewhere. This holds all of my um, backed big washi tapes, samples that I received from friends. This is in here usually with, I put all of my sticker sheets in here so I can flip through easily. Um, the most newest rolls of washi tape are in here. All of these smaller stickers that I'm trying to use and not use up. Some of the newer samples that I received for washi tapes. Then the only four Kita tapes that I have that I want to use are here. Um, so let me just put this back in here. The four stamps, where did I put those? I have those in here. Yeah, so that's what's in here. My sticker book is in here. Then in this pocket I have this washi cutter that bigger flake stickers and stuff is in here. And then let me just take this and open the top. And this is where, yeah, I added stamps that I want to use. Some of these things that I usually don't use because they're far away. Then I have some of those labels and stuff that I want to use in my journal. I put, I purchased a chamois um, and cut it down and wet it and put it in here so I can actually clean the stamps. Here's lots of um, sticky notes, note paper and stuff, stamp blocks. And this was what didn't really work. It was divided into three small compartments. And so I just um, cut one of them out completely. I just um, cut the thread and undid the sewing but this one I left in so it wouldn't fall out as easily and so now I'm able to use this pocket as a full pocket I put some of the wooden stamps that I have right here then two of my acrylic blocks black ink and wow it's like everything I need and <laughs> that I can take and even if I'm not using it I just put it onto my lap and use it as a lap desk I put my journal on here and then I write, it has the perfect height. So I am super excited about this. It was very, it's a great investment. Um, it's a lot of stuff. I have so much more stuff. So I'm glad that it's all accessible for me and I can use it. Um, I'll update you and show you what exactly is in here when I do one of my let's um, de-stash my stuff and add in new things. But yeah, that are all the new things that I just recently acquired over the last maybe one and a half months. And I'm, I have to say, um, this has been the best purchasing decisions in a while. I'm very happy with what I got. And um, I have thought about purchasing many of these things for a while. So... Probably that's why, or maybe I have changed my perspective. Whatever it was, 
it was a good month. Have a great Sunday. I will see you next Sunday with another Sunday chat. See you soon. Bye. Okay. Was denn? Noch mehr streicheln? Mm, ja. So. Hm. Würdest du mal ein Stück auf die Seite rutschen? Ach, du bist so ein Typ, eh. Okay. Kann ich jetzt?